based one law in a CrossFit motivational law. It's not about what you do tomorrow. It's about what you do yesterday, today and tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about how many times you fall. <laughs> it's about how many times you can fall and keep on knocking them down. Welcome back to another video guys. This week I'm in Cape Town visiting my girlfriend and her family. Um, so we've got some good garage training to look forward to. They've got a good setup at home with a, a nice, nice lifting platform uh, and some weights. Uh, looking forward to some good lifting sessions. Um, and then very exciting this weekend I'm heading down to the Stellenbosch to train with the fittest box in Africa, uh, CrossFit Akerstad. Um, and then also very exciting, I'm um, having an interview with the fittest team in Africa, the CrossFit Akerstad Mighty Oaks. Um, yeah, it's, it's a few weeks before they head off to the CrossFit Games, so it's, it'll be exciting to, to hear how they're going uh, in their preparations for the Games and what they're doing differently um, and what we can learn from them. So please stay tuned for, for that interview. Um, if you are enjoying the videos, please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, please share the channel with your friends, your family. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for, for more videos in the future. Ik heb in die strookje helemaal gebutcher. English conversation topics. Did you butcher your straw, love? <laughs> Why are you British? <laughs> Love. <laughs> Sweet on the palate, Sweet paired with the 2021 Chenin Blanc, Chenin Blanc. Um, with a citrus popo and winter melon taste. taste. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, so as you could see on the programming, this was a pretty brutal Saturday workout. Um, the warm-up or the primer was uh, six sets of four-minute intervals. The first three sets uh, changing between a 400 meter run and chest to bar pull-ups. And the second three intervals uh, switching between 500 meter row and handstand push-ups. Um, so yeah, this was probably one of the most intense uh, warm-ups I've done in a while. Because this was supposed to be a, a warm-up as well, I wasn't sending it on the run or the row. Um, but what I did try to do was I tried to go unbroken as long as possible on the chest to bar and the um, handstand push-ups. So um, with the chest to bars, I did the set of 15 and set of 21 unbroken. And the set of 28, I broke up 15 and 13, which I was quite happy with. Um, the handstand push-ups, the first set of 15, um, I think I did hand release push-ups just because uh, I was running out of time and didn't want to walk to the wall. Um, but the set of 21 I did unbroken and the set of 28 I think I did 18 and 10. Um, so overall I was happy with that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a pretty intense, tense warm-up. The next part of the session was a sort of a strength conditioning piece. Um, so it started with a five minute EMOM of five hang power clean and jerks and then straight into five minute EMOM of three power clean and jerks and then your last five minutes was just one um, hang power clean and jerk. Um, so it started off fairly lightly um, but as you can see I was pretty fatigued and this bar was throwing me around a bit. Um, I think on the set of three I was trying to go way too fast and just trying to bounce the reps instead of focusing on my technique. Um, as you can see here, I think this was 95 kgs, which I was quite happy with. And then on the last set, I just sort of sent it with 100 kgs. Um, so obviously not the prettiest clean and jerk, um, but I did hit it, so I was very happy with that. Um, yeah. And then we ended the session with a nice uh, team workout. Uh, it was a 21 minute AMRAP. Um, we were a team of four, so it started with a team run of 200 meters straight into 120 wall balls, uh, 80 toes to bar, and I think it was 30 shoulder to overheads at 70 kgs. Um, so yeah, it, I think the workout was programmed to be in a team of three. Um, we were a team of four, so the rest periods were a bit longer, but it sort of forced you to do your uh, sections unbroken, which was nice. Um, but overall, it was an awesome session. I uh, love training, tra training with the box um, and looking forward to joining them again in the future. Right, awesome guys. That's where I'm going to end today's video. Um, yeah, so over the last two weeks, I've been traveling quite a bit. Um, so my training is not where I want it to be. Um, but yeah, that's part of it. It's, it's nice to, to at least be able to travel around, see family, see my girlfriend. Um, so yeah, can't, can't really complain there. Um, and it was awesome training with uh, CrossFit Akerstad this weekend. Absolutely loved the session. Um, it was quite a tough session as you guys saw. Um, and unfortunately, I couldn't get the interview with uh, the Akerstad Mighty Oaks, but I have asked them if we can do a, a online interviews during the week. So hopefully I can get that done and get the interview out there for you guys before they were head off to the CrossFit Games. Um, but yeah, not, not much left, left to say, so please hit those like buttons, hit the subscribe buttons, and then I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.